Hi, my friends. I'm here today to read you a really special book. And because this book can be kind of confusing for our minds and our hearts, I'm gonna need you to go get a grown up before I keep reading, okay? I can wait. Now that your grown up is here with you, let's start. Today we're gonna to talk about racism. That's a big word and a confusing one. And one that kind of makes us feel sad. Are you ready? All right, my friends. This is a book about racism for reals. And yes, it is really for kids. It's a good book to read with a grown up because you'll have lots to talk about afterward. Now to introduce myself. My name is Delani. And my skin color looks like this. Because my dad is black and my mom is white. Which makes me mixed. Or African American, biracial, black, or person of color. I'm proud of who I am and the color of my skin. But because of my skin color, people aren't always nice to me. Sometimes I get called names. Other times it's worse. That hurts my heart, friends. It's so unkind. The person doing it might not even realize that it hurts me a lot. And when they treat me that way, it makes me feel small. Right? When people are unkind to you, you don't feel so good in your heart. You see, some people believe that having different color skin means you aren't as good as others. That's called racism. Did you hear that, friends? Some people believe that because your skin is different, you aren't as good as they are. That's called racism. It's very unkind, right? Because what matters is on the inside. And we're all beautiful on the outside in all of our beautiful differences. What is racism? Racism means to hate someone, to exclude them, or treat them badly because of their race or the color of their skin. And it happens all the time. Not just in big ways, but sometimes it shows up in small ways. Like a look, a comment, a question, a thought, a joke, a word, or a belief. I mean, sometimes people will say things, make a joke or ask a question that's not really kind. Racism is one of the worst kinds of mean someone can be because racism thinks being different is bad. But being different is actually good. Like really, really. Really, 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 almost there, I promise. Really, 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 really good. 100, 1,000% good. It's so good to be different. Because being different means we have so much more to offer each other. Things like help, ideas, strength, skills, creativity, life, patience, respect, community, love, knowledge, experience, perspective, insight, diversity, wisdom, empathy. That means to help feel what other people are feeling. And originality, to be different. The whole being different thing, it makes us better, much better. 
So if you see someone being treated badly, made fun of, or not included from playing, or not asked to play with others, or looked down on because of their skin color, call it racism, because that's what it is. That's the end of our story, my friends. I'm really proud of all of you for listening and hearing that. It's kind of a difficult thing to talk about. And it's really unkind. Remember what the story said. Racism is not being kind to someone because of the color of their skin or their race, and it's not nice. Right? It's so good to be different. Could you imagine having a crayon box with all one color? That's not so much fun. It's amazing to have all of the different colors, all of the different beautiful things to share. This was a really important story, my friends. If you have any questions, the grown-ups around you will be happy to talk to you. This was so nice. Thanks so much for sitting down with me and feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.